Welcome back to the show, Carolina Women. We're having a lovely time here at Whip Salon. We are at the Bluffton location today. We're gonna chat with those folks later in the program. Right now, we're gonna learn about our local Kiwanis, Kiwanis of Bluffton, a wonderful organization that is doing all kinds of great, good things in the community. <laughs> Robin and Wendy are joining us to tell us more. Thanks for being here. Thank you for Thanks. having us. Yes, so we nice appreciate it. You. Yeah. I'd like to start out by saying uh, that Kiwanis is, uh, give you our, our motto, uh, yeah. mantra, the uh, global organization of volunteers dedicated to improving the world, one child and one community at a time. Wow. We're an international service organization in 85 countries throughout the world. Oh my. Uh, there are over 178,000 adult Kiwanians uh, that are members of these service clubs throughout our areas. Uh, there, uh, we are part of the Carolinas district, which includes North and South Carolina. Okay. And there are 139 clubs in, in that uh, district. We are also then uh, smaller, going down smaller, uh, a part of uh, nine clubs in our division. There are three in this area, Bluffton, and there's one on Hilton Head Island, and also in Beaufort, and then the, uh, there are five or six others up in the Charleston area. So we're, we're very unique here in the Low Country. Yes. And uh, we are part of Bluffton and we were chartered in 2016. And oh. we are currently 37 members strong. And okay. specifically what lives, who are we touching? Who are we trying to reach? Uh, well, we, are, we work um, really to serve children in the community yes. and families. Uh, so we work in schools, we are volunteer in schools, I should say, the Boys and Girls Club. Um, at Port Royal um, Maritime, the, uh, Maritime Center. Center. Yeah, yeah Wendy we, is a, a volunteer. We volunteer there. Sometimes we help with field trips up there. A lot of school children go through the Port Royal Sound Maritime Center during the school year. Mm -hmm. So anywhere there's financial need? In families, well, no, it's not all financial. We, we mostly volunteer our time. Mm -hmm. um, tutoring, reading tutoring at Red Cedar, yes. uh, Boys and Girls Club. We do all kinds of tutoring there and STEM programs at the Boys and Girls Club. Some of our members do Meals on Wheels deliveries. Uh, we're part of the, um, again, the Literacy United Way programs. Um, we do, oh, we have a, a really nice a uh, signature project uh, called Kiwanis Comfort for Children campaign. And we uh, buy little uh, baby blankets and who doesn't love a little baby blanket kind of thing. Oh, yeah. and, but we give these blankets to uh, Deep Well, to Family Promise, to the police department to give to children who have been maybe traumatized, not having a good day when they come to their house. The firemen give them out to the little baby blankets for comfort for kids. Mm -hmm. It's all about the kids in the local and area. And also fund scholarships for graduating seniors. Yes. Right. And, and, and other educational programs too throughout right. the year. Um, yes, we are so excited to be giving away six scholarships this year um, to f students from four different high schools. Mm -hmm. um, we had a, a lot of applications, 24 applications this year. Wow. Uh, it's just um, so very exciting. That and the theme was sort of getting out giving and community spirit so right, these this, individuals yeah, are active. Yeah, I'll and talk about yes. that because she's mm -hmm. on the committee The, the uh, scholarship committee, uh, we, our club has a foundation and that's all our fundraising activities through our service projects and fundraising activities. We uh, are able to support the scholarship program and uh, uh, we are going to be handing those out again, Wendy said, on Wednesday at uh, Sequence Ballroom. And uh, we're going to be there with uh, six awardees. Each of them gets $2,500 scholarship, which is uh, no small Significant. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> amount. And uh, we're just really excited about that. But again, it's based on service uh, to their community, to the, to the seniors, um, churches perhaps or other service projects that they are involved with in the community right. so it's hard to summarize everything you all do so much and <laughs> impact the community in yes. so many ways it's almost tricky to kind of wrap it up into a summary but you did a beautiful job <laughs> with us. I want to make sure people know too there's a 
there's a program you can donate to um, that is specific to the Dancing with the Local Stars program that has helped raise money yes. for these scholarships. Mm -hmm. And you can donate to that. We're airing the program the last two uh, Saturday and Sunday of May and the first two Saturday and Sunday of June at 4 p.m. right here on WHHI. There will be a QR code that you can scan. It'll go to, to Kiwanis of Bluffton. Thank you for sharing. Thank, thank you so much thank for, you for having, having us. us. And thank you for watching. We have more. We'll be back. Stick with us.